Hi guys, Elf6 Dave with another Wacky Wizards video. Hi dad, it's me. I've changed my avatar into an axolotl. A what the who now? Are you drunk? How do I get the boxing glove? You first need a hot potion to burn down your bush. Put one chili in your pot. Spawn the potion. No, 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 don't drink it. Oh boy. Never work with kids or animals, especially oxy bottles, axel roses, anti laxatives, or whatever they are. Stupid boy. Well, that was a short lesson. Hey, what happened? Chungus can't handle the chili. Ooh. Oh well, Chungus died again. So, as I was saying, you take a chili on its own and make a hot potion. You need this to get into a cave that's behind a bush. Now, without drinking the potion, take it over to the said bush. Use the potion on the said bush, and then you can go through. Go up to the bush and use the potion. I said, use the potion. Hey, you knocked my potion out of my hand. He drunk it. A baked bean just robbed me of my hot potion, did you see that? Bad bean dirty bean, in your bed. I will quickly make another. Like I have all day to remake potions. That's better. So once you have burned your bush, you can go down the steps and round the corner, till you come to a baked bean infested area. Don't fall in, the beans are deadly. Jump across to the other side. You will meet a witch, and have a short conversation. And she will ask you if you can help her unlock the door. So you agree to help. You can try to lift the key, but you can't, you are not strong enough. That's one big lock, how would you try to open it? Well, go back to your cauldron, and you have to turn yourself into a giant. You can look in your potion book, at number 11, giant potion. You will need, no surprise, a giant's ear. So make sure the pot is empty and start adding. Now, depending on how many you put in the pot, determines how big you get. Too many and you will not fit in the cave. Too few and you won't lift the key. I will let you work out the correct amount, I don't want to take away all the fun. So once you have figured out the correct size, go back into the cave. Jump across the killer beans. I bought a spare hot potion in case a bean decides to rob me. Pick up the key, and unlock the door. Glinda the witch, says she will meet you further in. Bless, she thinks I care. Once through, you will be greeted by a short creature, who seems to be in charge of the bridge, that will get you across the lake of deadly beans. Talk to him and he will ask you to bring him your DNA sample. Who does he think I am? Swiss chemist Friedrich Miescher? Okay sure, I'll just go and get some DNA. I've got some spare in my pocket, yeah, I've got a warehouse full of the stuff. DNA. Oh well, back to the cauldron then. I hear you asking, Hey Elf 6 Dave, how the heck do we make our DNA? Well if you click on the like button, I will show you. Drain your pot so it's clear of other stuff. You will need to put in 3 fairies. Now this is the important bit. Spawn the potion, and then jump in the cauldron. Then drink the potion, whilst standing in the cauldron. You will shrink and then die. Don't worry. You will respawn straight away. I'm melting! Melting! 
Now you will have a new potion in the pot, so take it. Do not drink it, that would be stupid. Oi! Out! This is your DNA sample. Take this to the little guy at the bridge. I'm going the wrong way. Did I turn off the gas? Sorry, I got distracted. Hello? I need to take a breather. The things I do for entertainment. Must need my head examining. Moving on. Back down the tunnel again. I feel like I have been, here before. I better give it some beans. If I fall and I will be a, has been. Alright, enough of the cheap humor. Back to the little dude. He is called the collector. And hand him your urine I mean DNA sample. He will make the bridge appear. Not a very convincing bridge, looks more like an invisible conveyor belt. So go across and talk to the big dude. Hi, big dude, I can't read your name. Have a conversation, and answer some questions. These will be your own personal choice. Then he gives you a boxing glove. So thank the dude with the unreadable name, and get back to your potion making. After watching my videos of course. After all that effort, you don't want to lose your new item, so get back to your cauldron. The boxing glove should already be on your table, if not, make sure you put it on there. I hope you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more upcoming mad crazy vids, thanks for watching.